Can you figure out who I am? I have to keep my body healthy and strong. I compete in races against other people in my field. I wear several different uniforms. I can often be found in the water and on land. I have to learn three different sports. Who am I? A triathlete. Have you heard the joke about the jump rope? No. Never mind. Just skip it. <laughs> Brain play. Using just words, describe how to skip. I put my leg up and I jump. I put my other leg up and I jump. You, so you um, kind of lift up your leg and then bounce on it twice and then the other leg and bounce on it twice. You put one foot up and you s jump and then you put one foot in front of that foot that just was put out and then you do it again. You can do it really fast or really slow or you can do it really high or really low. You take one foot and you jump on it twice and then really extremely quickly you use the other foot and do the exact same thing. You're kind of jumping and running at the same time, but you're not like doing only one of them. You're, it's kind of like a combination together. Start walking, then lift up your knees, then you technically skip. <laughs> Can you figure out who I am? I have to be in great physical shape. I work in a cold environment. In 1998, my sport was added to the Winter Olympics. On the mountain, I ride in a half pipe, off jumps or downhill. In summer, I sometimes use a skateboard or surfboard for training. Who am I? A professional snowboarder. Why did the orange stop in the middle of the road? Because he ran out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mia, why is the tennis court so noisy? I don't know, why? Because everyone raises a racket. I don't get it. Because when you play tennis, the racket is what you hit it, and another word for racket is like noise. Oh. Racket noise and a racket you play it with. I get it Here, now. Let's play tennis. Let's play some. Do you know why Cinderella's bad at basketball? Why? <laughs> because she runs away from the ball. <laughs> What is full of holes but can still hold water? A sponge. How do you make time fly? You throw a clock out the window. Get it? Make it. Today we're going to make a birthday ring toss game. What we have to do is we throw the rings onto the screws and get points, and then you add up all the points. And the materials are scissors, paper, craft foam, glue, paint, markers, decorations, bamboo skewers, and a styrofoam cylinder. First, paint the plate yellow, and we'll paint the cylinder blue. Let's pass out the newspapers so, so we, we don't, don't get, get the, the table, table messy. Let's do this thing. This is fun. I think crafts are always fun. Yeah. Let's do the sides too. Okay. I think we're done painting. Yeah. You should let it dry now. Totally. Yeah. I think okay. we should use ribbon on the cake. Here we go. Here. Yep. Okay. We can take the puff paint and add dots. Like wow, that's a great idea. Yeah. What do you think about your design? I think mine is cool. I think uh, this looks really cool. I made a star. <laughs> wow. And I'll make a moon on the opposite side. Hey, we have some stickers. We, we have to put some on the sides. Stickers. The stickers match the star. 
on top of the cake. Oh yeah, I know. And there we go. Yay! We'll make shapes like flames onto the paper, then we'll cut them out. We traced our flame on the paper, but we folded it in half because we need two of the same size. And having two means you get to have have a flame on both sides. Now let's number so, them. I'll be one and two. Okay. To make a ring, we need to take a piece of craft foam, and then we cut a circle on the outside of it and cut a circle in the middle of it, and you'll get a ring. It looks like this. Let's play. Lawson, you can go first. Okay, I'm going for the five. Let's see it, Lawson. Yeah! Yes. Five points for Lawson. 10 points for Lawson. Can you figure out who I am? My uniform is tight and often shiny. You can learn my skill starting at a very young age, sometimes as young as toddlers. My job requires that I be very flexible and also very strong. My sport takes place at the Summer Olympics. There are all kinds of different types of what I do, including floor exercises, steady rings, vault, and bounce beam. Who am I? A gymnast. If animals could skateboard, which would be the best at it? I think an owl, because if he can turn his head to a 360, then he can do a 360. A kangaroo and a duck? Pigs, because um, it would be funny because they'd probably fall off a lot. A duck has webbed feet and it could stay on for a long time. I think a flamingo because they stand on like their legs all day, so they must have pretty good balance. And the kangaroo could stay on because it has big feet, and it went like tiny feet is harder to skateboard with, but they can push themselves like really far. Hmm. Probably a newborn pig, because <laughs> they're the littlest and they can just roll really fast. What do you call a pig that does karate? I don't know what. A pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you figure out who I am? I work together with a big team of people. I help my group train, practice, exercise, and learn different strategies. We compete against other teams who have been preparing all year too. Each winter, my team works together to win a big prize that proves we're the best in the country. If I lead my team to victory, we earn the title of champions, and we have a parade. Who am I? A football coach. Watch more videos like this one on Highlights Kids, the channel just for you.